Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 13th Commitments of Traders Report of 2024. And as we always do, we shall start out by looking at the largest changes in commercials net positions. But before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are joining in and are new to COT analysis here at cotbase.com, you'll find a lot of educational material not only do we have these in written format, but we have some very useful videos as well that can guide you through the analysis process. And of course, we're there for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out either they're just commenting underneath the video or sending us an email to info at cotbase.com. Let's get started. As you can see, we have rough rice on top of our list. Don't forget, we are analyzing in these reviews the classic COT report type. There's different COT report types and different data types as well. So we are looking at the information gathered from not only futures, but options uh, data as well. Um, and as you can see, we have rough rice on top of our list uh, based on the largest change in commercials net positions. So there's, of course, traders going long, traders going short, but we're looking at the net, the sum of the entire um, a trader group, trader category, we've got commercials, large speculators, and of course, non-reportables, or as we call them, small speculators. So Rough Rice is on top of our list. You can see commercials in the red over here. Uh, they have increased, uh, or actually decreased their net short positions from roughly 5,000 contracts net short down to 3,000. So uh, that was a pretty decent uh, change size, I'd say top 10 change the past one year we're of course looking at a one-year chart you can see this is uh, coming after a sharp decline in the market um, this bullish chain signal suggests that we could see a bounce off of these levels but caution is advised because if you look at a five years chart and examine the stress levels uh, that were present in this market you may see that there has been actually basically since december a significant bearish cot extreme in the market. Uh, so commercials were heavily net short, uh, speculators were net long, and if you of course do a historical analysis you may find that in most cases um, uh, commercials being heavily net short is actually more of a bearish uh, uh, situation uh, set up and, and signal. So that's what, hap that's what triggered this decline I'd say back in uh, February of this year. And of course, is you know the question is this the end? Uh, we're definitely not at those very high bullish extreme levels, but we're kind of midway. So you know, a, a stop in this decline, I I, I can imagine happening. Um, so the bullish change signal is there. We have moved away away from those bearish stress levels. Uh, we'll see how this uh, continues on the next couple of weeks. Moving on to our next market, natural gas, 23% change over here in commercials net positions. Jumping to a one year's chart, you can see that over there. It's, you know what, it's nothing that unusually large, or uh, it's, it could be a bit larger than average, it's on the list, but uh, I would not necessarily put too much emphasis on this change size, just based on, you know, looking at the chart. Uh, if we move to the five years chart, we do see a little bit of a bear, uh, bullish um, uh, extreme, uh, not surprisingly, as the market has gone much lower. Uh, but it's not that obvious. Like the ones we saw back in 2020, 2021, 2019, um, pardon me, I meant 20, 2020, 2019, these were much greater uh, bullish stresses in the market. That's not the case right now. So uh, I wouldn't be that excited on jumping uh, into natural gas just based on what we see from the commitments of trade report right now. Another energy market, crude oil, the Brent crude, 23% change over here as well. Again, nothing fancy, a bit larger than average, suggesting further increases in the price. Five years chart, hmm. Again, nothing, nothing huge, nothing exciting. Um, so, and I think this is what you should be doing if you are using the commitments or traders report is really just kind of finding those opportunities when they're really, you know, shout into your face, hey, we're here. It's a huge stress in the market. Something's going to happen. That's not the case uh, in neither of these markets, natural gas or crude oil. So 
we might as well move on to large speculator COT extreme analysis and we have Swiss franc on top of our list with a 249 report extreme in, in uh, large speculators but that's actually the same uh, extreme in commercials as well so meaning you know more than five years uh, since we have uh, seen such extremes actually you can see on, on this chart back over here in uh, uh, June of 2019 is when we had such an extreme in the market it is a bullish extreme suggesting Swiss franc could uh, gain value against the dollar of course this is uh, futures market <clears throat> measured in US dollars um, so that's what we can come to a conclusion from the, the the stress level analysis but you know caution is is advised because these stress uh, increases in the traders net positions can go on for many many weeks or months before there's a reaction from the market so um, it's best to be you know cautious and not jump onto one of these unless your system or strategy uh, is saying that you may go uh, long of course it's good to know that we are in a situation where traders are at a bullish stress level now this is the point in time where I'm going to switch over my chart over here and show you what the ICOT intraday indicator is capable of it's our own indicator that we developed bringing uh, COT analysis concepts down into the near term so I, I chose a five minute uh, uh, chart and of course the US dollar uh, Swiss franc currency pair is the more traded um, uh, currency pair so uh, what you do if you have this indicator is you first put the scores on this is really the um, the basis of of the indicator so ICOT scores you can see that they are mimicking a little bit those commercial and speculators uh, charts that we see on uh, our classic uh, COT review part of the video um, so it's it's really it's, it's more of a COT index actually so you can see we have uh, scores between minus 100 and plus 100 um, and uh, then when we do that, we can move on and add the ICOT uh, intraday indicator with after signal. So this is the more advanced indicator that we developed. We have a basic and the after signal version. And now, as you can see, it's by default, it's set to um, stripe signal. So you only uh, enter a market when you have these stripe signals. And of course, if you're new to COT analysis and these videos, you may ask, well, what is a stripe signal? Well. I should point out we have a page dedicated to our indicators the cot base pro which is really focused on classic cot analysis and basically everything you get in the premium uh, version of the website uh, that i'm showing to you in these cot reviews however you can actually use it on ninja trader and you can download the data now the icot part is really uh, i think where we come down into the short time frames and uh, this is the basic version uh, and we have a bunch of example charts and of course uh, material and this is the chart that I like to show where everything is explained, what sort of signals we have. So the stripe signals are the ones when both commercials and speculators, of course, I should underline, once again, this is our own indicator, own data. It's not the one that CFTC is uh, publishing. However, we do call it speculators and commercials simply because it's easier to understand uh, which direction the signal is pointing. So when both of them are at an extreme, uh, then of course uh, we may get this stripe signal a red of course indicating a sell uh, green indicating a bullish uh, uh, buy opportunity and this by the way is gold on a one minute candlestick chart so quite an effective tool I think to supplement your um, your trading now back to this example what you would do uh, is you're going to switch over the signal from stripe to one of them can be uh, switched to long and then I would switch the other one to short just so that I have you know eyes on both directions and uh, there you go so it's as you can see it's a default setting uh, there's a lot of ways you can set this indicator but even the default setting I think is pretty obvious to any anyone looking at this chart how well it can really supplement your longer term analysis from commitments of traders data to you know a shorter time frame trading so that's the icot intraday indicator i hope you will give it a try uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions with using it um, back to the review and moving on to the mexican peso where we have a 212 report extreme in uh, large speculators net positions that's the exact same extreme in commercials we're not surprised to see that usually commercials and large speculators are on of course the uh, opposite side of the market uh, it's a zero-sum game of course 
Uh, so here we are talking about a unquestionable bearish COT extreme, suggesting that this rally that's been going on the Mexican peso may actually end in the near future, near relative term, I'd say a couple of weeks, month. Uh, we may need to wait. These extremes could be present in the market for, for quite long before there's a reaction from it. So the last market for the review is the dollar index, 144 report extreme in large speculators, seven in commercials. But again, that's why we open the charts because everything becomes more clear uh, visually if we have the charts in front of us. So it is a more of a bullish uh, extreme. Uh, we, we do see the chance of you know bullish stress levels uh, getting even larger uh, here in uh, January of 2021. Uh, just at these lows had we seen the most bullish extreme in, in the dollar index. Uh, so we could get to even greater levels. But as you can see, it seems as if the dollar index is picking up and, and gradually uh, headed to higher prices. So um, again, it's a very, very unique tool. If you have not used the Commitments of Traders report yet, then I would advise you to give it a chance because it's really fundamental information uh, packed in technical format. So uh, these charts that you see have basically no connection to the price. They're not derived from price. They are the uh, open interest divided amongst most uh, the largest trader categories. So unique, unique way of analyzing markets. Guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, happy Easter to all of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. I wish you guys a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope to see you in my next COT review. Take care. Goodbye.